The phonological system of the Hijazi Arabic consists of approximately 26 to 28 native consonant phonemes and 8 vowel phonemes a, u, i, a, u, o, i, e, in addition to two diphthongs a, a, j. Consonant length and vowel length are both distinctive in Hijazi. Strictly speaking, there are two main groups of dialects spoken in the Hejaz region, one by the urban population Hadar originally spoken in the major cities of Jeddah, Medina, Mecca and Taif who constitute the majority, and another by the Bedouin or rural populations. However, the term most often applies to the urban variety which is discussed in this article. Phonemes will be written inside slashes, and allophones written inside brackets. Consonants Hijazi consonant inventory mostly depends on the speaker. Urban speakers use 26 with no interdental phonemes, theta or 28 phonemes with the phonemes, theta, th, and dh being used partially due to the influence of modern standard Arabic and neighboring dialects, in addition to the marginal phoneme and two foreign phonemes, p, p, and v, v used by a number of speakers. In general, Hijazi speakers pronounce z as z, or merge it with d, depending on the word, with the classicized pronunciation eth being an optional allophone, as it is always used when pronouncing the letter's name etha, and when reading or speaking standard or classical Arabic. On the other hand rural or Bedouin speakers use 27 consonant phonemes completely merging the phoneme d, d with eth. A notable feature of Hijazi and many Arabic dialects is the pronunciation of q as a voiced velar stop instead of the classical, q, which Ibn Khaldun, described that it might have been the old Arabic pronunciation of the letter, and he even described that Quraysh and the Islamic prophet Muhammad may have had the per gram, pronunciation, but due to the influence of modern standard Arabic the q has been introduced as an allophone of q in few words and phrases as in Alkran, Algar A'n, Quran which can be pronounced as Alkar A'n or Algar A'n. Phonetic notes The marginal phoneme only occurs in the word al, a h, god, and words derived from it, it contrasts with l, in wal, wa a, i swear, versus vla a, wal a, or the phonemes d, j, and the trill, r, r are realized as a and a tap, respectively by a number of speakers or in a number of words. The phonemes gh and x, kh can be realized as uvular fricatives, and chi in few instances. The reintroduced phoneme, theta, th is partially used as an alternative phoneme, while most speakers merge it with t, or s, depending on the word. The reintroduced phoneme, dh is partially used as an alternative phoneme, while most speakers merge it with d, or z, depending on the word. n, n has the velar allophone, which occurs before velar consonants q, k, k, as in ankabi, akab, it spilled, and minkel, mal, brazier. The phonemes p, p and v, v which exist only in foreign words, are used by a number of speakers and can be substituted by b, b and f, f respectively depending on the speaker. t, occurs only in foreign words and it is not considered to be part of the phonemic inventory but as a sequence of t, t and shish as in shyly, t li, or t la, chili. Illustrative words. One for most speakers, and theta, are mainly used in classical words, or when trying to speak with a standardized tone. Can be substituted by d, or z, depending on the word and the speaker, and likewise, theta, can be substituted by t, or s. Two pronounced z arf or eth arf. Three pronounced jaraga or jerica. Four, p, and, v, occur only in loanwords and can be substituted by b, and, f, respectively depending on the speaker. Topic. Dental assimilation For urban Hijazi speakers the classical Arabic phoneme, eth, z had a partial merger with d, d in some words like zalam, d ala m, and zif, d ifer, while it is still pronounced distinctly as z, in others, like zilm, z ulm, and zart, z a h r a. This partial merger with d lead to some homophones that did not exist in classical Arabic, e.g., tizlil dimming and tdlil mislead, both pronounced tad li l. It is also worth noting that the classical eth is still an optional allophone for z. 
In contrast, d, d is always pronounced as a, d, except in words derived from the two trilateral roots dbt and drt in which it's pronounced, z. On the other hand rural Hijazi speakers have a complete merger of the phonemes, eth, and, d, where both are pronounced, eth. Most urban Hijazi speakers merge the phoneme, dh mostly with, d, or with, z, depending on the word, while most words have only one merger or the other, some words have two optional mergers e.g. kdhb, kib, might be pronounced as, kidib, for some speakers or, kizib, for others. The other dental phoneme, theta, th also merges mostly with, t, or rarely, s, depending on the word, e.g. thwer, theta or, is pronounced, to r. These mergers completely depend on the speakers themselves, for example many might refrain from the usage of, s, as a pronunciation for th and only merge, theta, with, t, in most words while keeping it, theta, in others. This phenomenon might be due to the influence of modern standard Arabic and neighboring dialects. When speaking or reading modern standard Arabic, all Hijazi speakers would not merge any of the phonemes and would pronounce each phoneme distinctly according to its classical phonemic status, and any mergers in those situations are completely stigmatized, while most rural Hijazi, Majdi and other Gulf Arabic speakers tend to completely merge, d, with, eth, even when speaking or reading modern standard Arabic. While many speakers keep the same classical Arabic spelling of the words some might change the spelling according to their pronunciation so twer becomes twer. <laughs> Vowels Hijazi has eight vowel phonemes, three short, a, u, i, and five long, a, u, o, i, and, e, with length as a distinctive feature, and two diphthongs, a, and, a, j. Unlike other Arabic dialects, Hijazi did not develop allophones for the vowels, a, and, a, in the vicinity of emphatic consonants, and they are always pronounced as an open front a or open central a depending on the speaker, and retains most of the long and short vowels of classical Arabic with no vowel reduction, though in a few number of foreign words the long, a, is optionally pronounced. The main phonological feature that differentiate urban Hijazi from the neighboring urban and rural dialects of the Arabian Peninsula, is the constant use of full vowels and the absence of vowel reduction, for example Kult Elok to a female, is pronounced k or in Hijazi with full vowels but pronounced with the reduced vowel as or in Najdi or in most other dialects in the Gulf region. The pronunciation of word initial and medial, u, and i, depends on the nature of the surrounding consonants, whether the syllable is stressed or unstressed, and on the accent of the speaker, and speech rate. As a general rule, word initial or medial, u, is pronounced, or, o, but strictly as an, u, at the end of the word or before, with, as in wa, hua, while word initial or medial, i, is pronounced, or, e, and strictly as an i at the end of the word or before j, as in hia hija, though this free variation in allophones is not found among all speakers of Hijazi. Most of the occurrences of the two diphthongs, aj, and a, ah, in the classical Arabic period underwent monophthongization in Hijazi, and are realized as the long vowels, e, and o, respectively, but they are still preserved as diphthongs in a number of words which created a contrast with other monophthongized words with o, and e, as in swati, sawti, acoustic, versus swati, sot, my voice, both pronounced, sawti, in modern standard Arabic. Not all instances of mid-vowels are a result of monophthongization, some are from grammatical processes kalwa, ga lu, they said, kalwa la ga lo laha, they said to her, opposed to classical Arabic kalwa la, qa lu laha, and some occur in modern portmanteau words e.g. lish, la, y, from classical Arabic lay, liage, for what, and shy, aj, thing. Phonetic notes a, and a, are pronounced either as an open front vowel a, or an open central vowel a, depending on the speaker. O and E are pronounced as true mid vowels O and E, respectively. U is pronounced allophonically as or O in word initial or medial syllables and strictly as U at the end of words or before W or when isolate. I is pronounced allophonically as or E in word initial or medial syllables and strictly as I at the end of words or before J or when isolate is an optional allophone for a in some words such as Almanya um, NJA, Germany and Yabin ya BN, Japan. <laughs> Phonological processes 
The linking conjunction w and pronounced u is often linked with the consonant before it or the vowel before or after it or for emphasis only left as it is. Anna w anti Anna u inti me and you is either pronounced as ana e nti where the u connected to the vowel before it or pronounced as anna venti where the u connected to the vowel after it or left as it is for emphasis anna u e nti. Wad w kamesin wa hid uxamsin, 51, is either pronounced wa he, du xamsin or for emphasis wa he, du xamsin. Kamest w espen xamsa u sabi n, 75, is either pronounced zamsa sabi n or for emphasis xamsa u sabi n. <laughs> 